All right, folks, card to impossible location. We've talked about this a hundred times on this channel. A card that disappears and teleports into an impossible location, like a pocket or a wallet or something of that kind. Today, however, will be the last time we talk about card to impossible location. This is a very fun twist and iteration of card to pocket, which we covered two days ago. So if you guys are interested on how to make a card teleport into your pocket, Check that video out, it's loads of fun. Today though, we're gonna go further than the pant leg. Dare I say, past the sock, we're gonna go into the shoe. Card to shoe is gonna be so much fun. I think you guys are really gonna like it. It just provides a little bit more impossibility than the card to pocket. It's just a further distance. There's no way anyone can see you put it into your shoe because, well, you'll see. So just to have this trick in your arsenal, I think is a very powerful punch and it's very tricky. This is a knacky thing that you're gonna have to learn because even I am not the greatest at it. Like it's just a hard thing to do because you're so used to the deck feeling a certain way. So we'll talk about more of this pretty soon. But first, let's discuss theming for a second before we jump into our trick. To branch our studies of magic, we need to get creative. In order for us to be unique as a magician, our performance style and theming has to be unique as well. And specifically, the scripting behind our tricks, our patter, if you will. So for our trick today, I'm gonna add a slight spooky twist to it. I'm not going overboard just because I'm super sleepy and my sister also just woke up and she's gonna be helping me out to be my spectator. This trick does not work to a camera. It does not work to a camera, so bear that in mind. So for our trick today, I'm gonna talk about ghosts and moving things around, possession, trying to communicate with the dead. So that's what we're gonna revolve our card to shoe about. Does everyone do it that way? No, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one I know of that does like a scary card to shoe. I find it a really fun twist. I really like spooky stuff. So that fits me really well. But everyone's gonna have different stuff. Is your card to pocket about teleportation or time travel? I don't know, it can be about anything you want. My slop tutorial, my patter is about me living in New York. I doubt you guys have the same patter as me. You guys have to find stuff that's personal and connected to the trick. So as we've already discussed, the card to shoe is just card to pocket, but going straight to your shoe instead. However, we can exceed the norm by just adding layers on top of it. All right, folks, I think that's enough said. Let's jump into the performance, which is right outside my room. Apologize for the lighting but here we go. All right, folks, this is the performance. This is my sister, Kit. I don't think you've been on this channel, have you? Uh, oh no, yeah, a long time ago for a fluffy hour. Yeah, that's That right. was super long ago, but if you guys are interested, she used to be on here once. Okay, well, let's just get on with the trick. You ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna have you tell me when to stop, and whenever you say stop, it'll be the card on bottom, okay? Okay, stop. Okay, I'm gonna show you the card real quick. And then we'll show the camera as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what we got. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna take your, do you wanna hold on to this for me for a sec? Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but we're gonna rip the card corner, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'll trade you, so I'll give you this, and then you can give me the deck back. So this is gonna be a marker for later to see that this is the same card in just a second, okay? <laughs> okay. So what I'm thinking is we'll shuffle this up and I'm gonna have you do me a favor and shuffle this as well, make sure it's really lost, okay? okay? So this trick, before we continue, is all about ghosts and, you know, magic. So <laughs> we're gonna try and get a message from the other side, that's the point. We're gonna try and communicate with something in the room, okay? So are you comfortable shuffling? Yeah. Okay, do you wanna hold on to the corner of your pocket or do you wanna give it to me? Okay, go ahead, take it, don't let me see. I don't trust you with this corner. <laughs> okay. I will just stand here, gleefully. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, 
we just need to find a card that's missing a corner. That's not going to be too hard. So you just tell me where it is and we'll pick it out real quick. Just let me know that it's still in here. Hold on. I think you went past it. Did I? Maybe it's at the beginning of the deck. Here, hold on to this. Okay, right. ghosts are pretty renowned for moving stuff. You know, like you walk in, the doll's head has moved somewhere else or it's in the other part of the room. I'm going to bring the camera down so I can show you what's in my shoe. <laughs> we'll just point that guy down here. So I'm going to take off my shoe here, nice and slow. And you can see we have a card inside of a paper clip. And it's missing a corner. So let's just get rid of that. You have the corner still, right? It says we can see you on the nine of hearts. You got that corner, perfect. Let's take a look. Perfect match. <laughs> I don't think anyone liked that. All right, folks, so that's the clip. That is the performance and that's what it looks like. And now let's talk about how you guys can do it too. All right, guys, for this tutorial, uh, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult than you might expect because I added a layer to my card to shoe, which is a ripped corner, as you guys saw in the performance. That is not typically part of card to shoe, but it definitely can be and I find it more convincing. All right, so you're only gonna need three items to be prepped for this. You only need two cards, but you also are gonna need a paper clip and then I'm gonna need to rip some corners, right? So grab any card you want. For the this example, we're gonna use the nine of hearts from our performance. And that's the nice thing about this trick is that it is very easily reloaded. You can refresh this trick, be ready to go very quickly. This is a super easy trick to set up. So get a, get a card, nine of hearts, rip off the corner, and then throw it away. We don't need that corner. So that's the first item. Here is our paper clip folded card. And so what we're gonna do is pull out a duplicate nine of hearts. We're gonna rip the corner off, which is right here, and we're gonna keep this corner. This is the one that matters. This, is, this one's important. If you would like, you can write a message on the card. So I chose, we can see you. So you can use a Sharpie and write that down. However, I would advise not having a Sharpie on your person when you perform the trick. So that way it's more impossible how did the message get on this card. So what you'll do is you'll fold up this card into four pieces and you'll stick the messaged card into a paper clip and put that in your shoe. So this is the card that will teleport and show up in our shoe. This corner is to prove that it's the same card, but we're gonna make this corner from this card look like it's the corner to the other card. So that's the secret, right? So this will be in our shoe. For the sake of tutorial, we're just gonna put it on my leg right here. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the Knight of Hearts and we're gonna make sure that the ripped corner is on the bottom. So this is what it should look like. And then this is gonna be the difficult part. You're gonna take the ripped corner. And again, this corner does not belong to this top card. We're gonna match the corner's orientation. And what we're gonna do, let me zoom in for you. We're gonna do is load that card into our pinky just like this and then you're gonna put the entire deck on top so the card is hiding right here decks on top you're gonna cut the deck in half and grab a break with your ring finger <laughs> so this is what i was saying that it feels unusual because you're holding something in your pinky and then you're also using a break with a finger you're not used to using for a break so this, this trick is a little bit knacky, just like kind of gross to do. Tough through it if you want a really good reaction from someone. So what we're gonna do is a riffle force and we're gonna cut the deck back and we're gonna show them their card, the nine of hearts. At this point, square it back up and this is gonna be the knackiest part. You're going to peel the card and you gotta be really smooth with it. So what I would suggest is tilting it upward and peeling it like that. So that way they never see this missing corner. So you're gonna peel that back and you want that, you wanna give them the deck. So while they're holding onto that and squaring everything up, you have enough time to line up the corners with ease, okay? 
At this point, you want to just get right into ripping the card. Don't really give the spectator a second to breathe. This is some misdirection. By giving them the deck, you have time to really convince them that you're ripping this corner to this card. If you guys want to add a little sound effect like that, just peel the card against one another like this. So you're holding them together and then just like that. They'll hear a little nick, like a little, like you just pulled the last piece of it. So you're gonna give them the corner. So you're gonna switch them back. So you give them the corner, which we're gonna leave right here. And then they give you the deck back. From here, you're gonna insert it into the center of the deck, but really we're putting it on the bottom. So from here, it just looks like we're pushing it in to the center somewhere. It's on bottom. And then what we're gonna do is a gambler's cop, which we taught pretty recently. So you're gonna give them the deck. Would you like to shuffle, right? So they can put the corner in their pocket or they can give it to you. I would suggest that they hold it on their person, especially if it's just to one spectator. Cause if it's just one person, it's more unbelievable cause they know they had it in their pocket and you didn't have it. So besides that, we're gonna go back to our gambler's cop. So we're gonna have them shuffle the deck and toss this so we're gonna dump that card while they're shuffling you ask them uh could you locate the card so they can go through the deck and see if they can find it themselves and then if, when they can't find it you say let me see the deck and then you take a look through it as well you say okay so ghosts move things around whatever pattern you want to use so eventually you go into your shoe i would suggest taking your shoe off from the sole so that way your hands are away from the shoe, from the opening of it. And then you can just turn it around and show them that it's in the heel of your shoe. So you can reveal it as slowly as you'd like. You take the paper clip off, you open up the card, has the message, they pull out the corner and it matches. So this is all about theatrics, about playing along, about acting, which we've talked about previously. You guys need to understand sooner or later that if you're gonna be a magician, it's required to be a little bit of an actor you need to be able to play along with the scene. I would advise folding it in a manner that would show you the corner is missing and also to add the paper clip because it makes it a little bit more impossible. The ink, the paper clip all appeared from somewhere, but we don't know where. No one ever saw a paper clip. No one ever saw a Sharpie. They can check your purse. You don't have either. So this is just a well-rounded trick. I really enjoy card to shoe. And again, reusable. So I just, put the nine of hearts from my pocket back on top. I put this back in my shoe and then I put this in my pinky and I'm ready to go. So the trick is reusable and also easily able to be reset. So that is card to shoe. All right, folks, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and could learn a lot. It's been a pleasure teaching for you guys once again. I had a great time with you and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. I'll see you guys next week on Fluffy Flamingos. Peace out.